Hello guys, welcome to Comsol 101. This is the fourth tutorial of this series. In this tutorial, I will show you the problem buoyancy flow in free fluids dimensionally. In the last tutorial, I have shown you this problem and I have solved it in Comsol non-dimensionally. Today, I will solve it dimensionally. So, how, it, how did I solve it non-dimensionally? As you can see in this PDF down here, you can see the value of the fluid parameters. They are all non-dimensional values. Okay, for air, the value of rho is not 1, it's something else, but in non-dimensional values, they are like this. So, I am going to solve it dimensionally. So, for dimensionally, I open this document. As you can see, this is our model. This is a square cavity enclosed. Air is trapped inside it. Two sides are insulated and two sides are heated. See, one is T1 and another is T2. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fix the film temperature. The film temperature, the film temperature is the average of T1 and T2. So why I'm going to fix this one so that I in the parameter section I don't have to change the properties of fluid. Okay. So I'm going to fix the film temperature TF to 350 Kelvin. Okay. And what I'm going to do is that in the rally number I'm going to fix a rally number and get temperature difference from it. Using this temperature difference, I am going to find the value of TH and TC. Basically, this is T1 and T2. So, I am not going to use these values, 320K and 280K. I am going to use this value, define these properties or find out these properties and using the Rayleigh number, I will get the delta T and find these values. And this is the bosonic term. In the last tutorial, I have used this term according to my non-dimensional equation. In dimension equation, the bosonic term is rho g beta del t. So I'm going to use this. So let's open the file. This is the file that I have solved it yesterday. I'm only just going to change the parameters. I'm not going to change anything here much soever. The model that I have designed yesterday, I'm going to use it same. So those who haven't checked it out, please check tutorial 3 for that. Uh, this is the same, the both models and the design is also same. So just check that out. Okay, the rho is the density of air. It's 1.174. I just copy it like this. Okay, k is thermal conductivity. Okay, copy. Okay, mu. It's the viscosity. It's this one. Cp is the specific heat. It's this one. Okay, Prandtl number is 0.7 for air. Okay, I will change this later. I will just delete it or okay, I just change it to new. New is mu by rho. Okay, this is the dynamic viscosity. Okay, Rayleigh number I just now write it 1, sorry, 1 E3 for now. PO is the pressure constant, the pressure point. Okay, now I need G, uh, L, and beta. Okay, so G. It's 9.81. It's acceleration due to gravity needed for the buoyancy force. Okay. LE, this is the length, 0 0.03 meter. Sorry. This is the length of the square. As you can see in our model, I have write it L equal to 0 0.3 meter. Okay, beta. Beta is 1 by Tf. Okay, so I haven't defined Tf, so let me define it. It's the film temperature. It's 350 Kelvin. Film temperature. Okay. Now I am going to use this one. I am going to find delta T. Okay. So delta T. Del T is equal to this one. Rayleigh number into new square by G beta L cube Prandtl number. Okay. So Rayleigh into new square slash G into beta into L E to the power 3 into Prandtl number. Oops, sorry. 
so this is the temperature difference now I'm going to change the heated wall and the cold wall it's going to be this one this equation so I'm not defining the heated wall and the cold wall what I'm doing is I'm defining the film temperature and according to Rayleigh number the heated wall and the cold wall will be according to this formula so it may be anything but the flame temperature will be 350 Kelvin so that I don't need to change this properties every time I simulate for different values of Rayleigh number because in the non-dimensional one in this PDF as you can see they have varied the Rayleigh number so I have applied this process for dimensionality you can do it in any way as you wish okay so let me give this it's TF plus 0 0.5 del T so TF plus 0 0.5 uh, let me give a bracket here parenthesis here del t okay and copy this one and just give the minus oh sorry uh, this is the heat wall okay now as you can see I need to make some changes in our model because okay first of all before I make any change in our model I have to add the body force the bosonic term it's Fy is rho into G into beta this is the body force as I've said in the last tutorial that I will not apply the del T term del T term will be applied in the volume force in here okay here I will apply the del T because uh, the console works in this way I have to use the variable here I won't define the variable in the parameter okay because a console will apply T for various values in the simulation part okay so I won't use it here okay so in another thing is that my model length is 0 0.03 meter but this one is 0 to 1 in di non dimension way so I have to change the geometry of this I'll go to square 1 and I select the side length and write it 0 0.03 meter okay uh, oops sorry and build all objects okay it has gone so s smaller uh, no problem I will use this zoom extent to extend the square okay now I think so everything is done uh, just check sure I go to the study step one uh, okay the, the auxiliary sip is done I'm going to find out the values of the graph for this rally number so here as you can see I'm changing the values of rally number I have though defined the value of rally number here as 1000 but I can change it okay I have the liberty to change one value so that I can get the graphs for this one so let me just compute it it will take some time I think so um, less than minute or a minute according to its simulation okay um, well it's starting simulation I think so uh, in a moment uh, yeah there is a convergence plot as you can see the error is quite less than the number of iterations required so our simulation is quite good enough so I think so it will be done ah, it will be it's good the I think so the model is correct as the error is quite less and the number of iterations is also required less oh yes this is the value we have got now let's see the temperature okay the temperature for 10,000 is like this in our PDF the temperature for 10,000 is just like this so I have solved you the uh, this model for dimensionally I hope so you guys liked it and in the next tutorial I think so I will come up with new things but for this tutorial I have shown you the dimensional one hope so you have guys enjoyed it please share this video so that everyone can sh learn console well done good luck